Good afternoon, everybody. Oh, I love my Tuesday afternoon with you. I feel like I know you personally, everybody by themselves. Okay. So my name is Céline Ross and I am a, an educator for Genomic Canada. Today, it's a, it's a special, maybe you know it. It's a special technique that we will use with our N embroidery and sewing twin needle. Yes, you heard good. Embroidery with twin needles. Trust me. I don't, with sewing, I don't lie. Okay. So I'll switch the camera and here is the first sample. So this sample has feature, uh, embroidery and sewing. Twin needles, all of them. I don't know if you know that exist many, many different twin needles. Each package is different. Not one is the same. So you see? 12. So imagine, I don't know if you, I, I don't know if you know that, but for sure this one you're familiar with. It depends which machine you bought, which model you bought from Genome, but many of them uh, provide the, the twin needle. And the twin needle that comes with a Genome machine is a two millimeter distance between the two needles, okay? If your machine didn't come with it, it depends which model you buy. You bought, I'm sorry, you bought, okay? So maybe you bought uh, the, the, the top of the line or maybe you bought the, the, the lower model. Well, the lower model doesn't come with this, but you could use this on any or every, I'm, I'm not sure which one, which word is the best, but all the Janome model can sew with a twin needle on a straight stitch, okay? So today I'm going to use this one because it comes with the machine, but all my samples are done with all the, the other one. The only tool you need besides the needle is your screwdriver, okay? You know that, what I drop it. Oh, before I want to show you something. Okay, so you see the needles, they have the same height. Both are flat at the back and the back, the flat part is really at the back. So you cannot make a mistake. And twin needle, of course, has a shank here that will hold those two needles. So I'm inserting my twin needle attach it the best I can with my fingers, but we're never strong enough, secure. So this is my only tool, the only tool I need. Even if you have a needle treader, you cannot use this. You cannot use it with a twin needle. So you have to um, use the old way of threading, which is... Uh, what I'm trying to do now. Okay, oh, yo, yo, hold on. I'm not smart, I should have, I should have put my, um, my uh, magnifier that comes with the machine, but I didn't think of it. You know, when we talk, when I talk anyway, now I say, oh, I should have do this. I should say it this way. I should and I should and I should, well, I guess, I, and I hope I'm not the only one. I need a sharp, um, sharp end. Uh, whoop. Oh. Okay, second. And notice that I put the F foot because I'm going to do decorative stitches. So I have my two thread under my foot in my foot holder on the side, front to the back. Back to the front, it cuts. Front to the back, it holds. It's a thread holder. Okay. So what I did here, 
First, I did my embroidery because then I expand and I want to use this to show you, you know. I always like to present you my test fabric in a nice frame like this. So I'll put it out after. But embroidery with twin needle. I'm closer. So you see, maybe you're going to say, hey, Celine, there's a one thread not exactly the same red no they're not so don't think I, I did something wrong it's it is um, two different color of thread so this side here put it back this side I use 1.6 width in between the two the twin needle 1.6 I hope you see well yeah okay 1.6 the next one is 2 because this is the width that comes with many of Genome machine so just to remind you then 2.5 2.5 my next sample 3 Three is here and four for this side four so I'll, I'll take them away and I'll explain better look the distance in between look the distance in between each sewing okay 1.6 2 2.5 3 4 so I did straight stitch. I did, um, I'm, I'm going to say it looks to me like it's a lightning stitch. Maybe you have another word. Then a zigzag. But look at the difference. The same zigzag. Look at the difference between them. Okay. And this one is a triple zigzag on this side. Okay. I'm sure you know all of this. I'm not sure you know this side because this is not very old. Six millimeter, the distance between the two needles, six millimeter. So if you have a five millimeter machine, you cannot use this. It's going to break right away. Yeah. So you have to have the machine that, that is at least a seven millimeter width of a, of a stitch width. And for those who have, who has nine millimeter machine, well, we have an eight millimeter width. Hey, look at the distance between those two, but look at the result. So it depends what you want to create, in which fabric you are, and what you like. It depends on all of this. Huh? Then if I'm coming here, you're going to say, ah, do I see well? Yes, you see well. It's a triple needle. Maybe you know it. And I hope not because I like when I teach you something new. Triple needle. Triple. Okay. So triple, if you read, it's uh, uh, three millimeter width in between the left and the right one. So you can use it, no problem, even if you have a basic sewing machine, even if you have a five millimeter uh, uh, sewing machine. And then the rest, I use the regular dark one that comes with the machine, which is a two millimeter. But I did decorative stitches, not just regular utility stitches you know straight uh, lightning a zigzag uh, multiple zigzag while here i did uh, some uh, quilting stitches triple and decorative design okay just to so then you see and my embroidery of course so there's a few things that you have to few not law, rules and regulation. Maybe, I don't know if I have the right word, but you have to, we have to be careful eh, what you're going to do. You know, one mistake, uh, 
You have to buy another twin needle. It's uh, finito. It's, it cannot reuse it. You cannot say, oh, I still have one needle. I'm going to use it for a straight stitch. Hey, come on. Huh? can do that. Okay. So, this is not tight enough. Okay. So, I'm going to remove... Because I like to present you in my panel, but this is my working uh, sample. Okay, I'm going to remove this. So what do I have to do? Okay. I, I'm telling you I need a few, two more hands. Okay, but ready to go. Okay, so how do I thread this? It depends on your machine model. So I'm using today the 15,000, but uh, you, you'll notice that uh, many of our genome model, most of them, you can you have the regular way of, uh, uh, for your spool uh, of thread. And you have another one, op not optional, but one that comes with the machine for a, uh, a supplementary. For a second one, for a second bobbin that I can insert. I take them both together and I thread my machine as usual, except in the needle eye. I cannot use my needle threader. One to the left needle, one to the right needle, and under the foot to the right. So that's the way to do it. Then you're going to say, Celine, yeah, of course, for a twin needle, but what do I do with the triple? triple stitch with this triple stitch how do I do this ah uh, now yeah you, you gotta see oh that's true huh? oh Cillian she's so smart when she wants okay look at this you use you thread a bobbin you fill up a bobbin and you use it all the way the same um, threading path and uh, on top of the um, the second spool of thread. But if you don't have, uh, if you say, hey, come on, I won't do it. Maybe you have a spool holder if you have an embroidery machine. So here I have two, but you can also have five. So you can use a spool stand if you have it. If you don't have it, you're not in trouble. You can use this uh, regular um, spool pin. This is a, a spool pin, extra spool pin. Maybe it's the word, extra spool pin, okay? Then I'm coming back here. So how do I use this? I did my sample, but now I'm ready to do on the other side, just to show you some, uh, some little tricks, okay? Okay, then you see the utility stitch. I can say to my machine, oh, I'm using twin needles. Did you see what happened? The machine erased the stitches that you cannot use, that are dangerous to you. Not dangerous, you just cannot use them because of the width, the way it is, uh, the way the stitch it is. So you say, am I going to be always using just these here of course not go back in the house and i'll see which category i can use so i have stitches in uh, this is uh, heirloom this is quilting satin is the same um jump stitch i think i believe in decorative stitches so romantic you see what can you use it shows you what you can use. You see? If if the others, you cannot use them. It's it's there. You know, it's grayed out. So you cannot make a mistake. I'll show you after. If you don't have this machine and you don't have the protector, twin needle protector, I'll show you how to manage with it. Okay? So let's start with, uh, then do this one. Hey, look at this, how cute it is. So the machine tells me, no, the machine protect my twin needle. If I didn't have my guard, needle guard, 
my stitch will be at nine millimeter. Whoops, my stitch will be at nine millimeter. I'm telling my machine, hey, I'll use the twin needle. Look what happened. It reduced the software in the machine, reduced the width of the stitch to three millimeter because the machine knows you are uh, using a twin needle. Okay. The other thing you have to observe is don't go fast. Okay. I want to follow the line. Okay. And when genome, uh, all the genome uh, uh, stitches, as long as it's a decorative stitch or a zigzag stitch, always start with um, a lock stitch. Maybe I'm going to hit the... Uh, ooh, am I lucky? I am lucky. <laughs> okay. So I'm sewing, following my line. And it starts with the lock stitch. And I'm going to say, okay, finish my sequence. Well, I went over. Okay. Cut my thread. So now the machine is cutting three thread. Two on the top and one at the bottom. And if, I'm, if I was using my triple needle, the machine will cut four thread, okay? So we have a real good machine. We really, we really do. Okay, I use a, and the thread I'm using is a, a embroidery thread, okay? So, look at the design this one and i did this previously okay let's say your thread break while you're doing this you have to remove the whole thing okay you have no choice because the repair will always show but it's easy to remove at the back you have only one thread that is going to catch the two upper thread you pull it out it's always loose you pull it out and the, 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 the top thread will fall apart. So just no problem here. Let's say you don't listen. You said, no, no, no. Mila, I want to do more than what the machine offers me. Let's say I want to try this stitch. And I want it wider than three millimeter. What am I going to do? Remove the needle guard, the needle width guard. I hope I'm okay. Of course, not f not for a nine millimeter. I'm going down to let's say five. And now I don't push the foot control. I don't press on st start stop, and I don't put my needle down. I'm using the wheel and I'm turning always towards me for one sequence. Okay, so, okay, lock stitch, lock stitch. I'm going to become closer. I want you to see well. Okay, okay. I'm using, I'm turning my, my wheel. And if I had a problem, my needle will hit the bobbin case or the needle plate. So, so far, there's no problem. So, I'm going. Don't forget that. You break one needle and they're, they're, they're more expensive than a regular needle, huh? Okay, I want to stop because I want to tell my machine that I'm using the twin needle and you'll see the difference between the, the width while I'm sewing. Oh, I went over. Cut the thread, thread cutter. Okay, so you see the same stitch, 
with and without the needle guard. So if you don't have the needle guard on your machine, if you don't have an electronic machine, you see, there's no problem. So I'm five millimeter here and here I did the, with the needle guard, which is three millimeter. So you see, no problem at all. Okay. Twin needles. Don't forget, always catch it back. If you do embroidery, like this swirl here. So th this is a swirl, but this is a design satin stitch. Of course, this is a regular uh, needle. Eh? This is a regular needle for those design. Eh? It's a satin stitch. I didn't use the twin needle, but for the swirl, yes. How did I do this? Back on my machine. I'm telling my machine I want to do embroidery. Ah, tells me, hey, uh, you have a twin needle. Okay. No. Okay, here. Oh, there we are. Okay. I'm going to choose a design. I don't want to choose a design that I'm satin stitch. I need like or quilting or sashiko. If I can find sashiko, sashiko here. Okay, let's see this one. Look, it's a straight stitch. So, of course, I could use it. There's no problem. I don't want it. I'll try something else. So can I use this one? No problem, straight stitch. I can use it as a... As a um, um, with the twin needle. Now... I did something to make sure, okay. I'm coming back on quilting, quilting here. And because it's the Valentine uh, month, I choose the heart, okay. And what I did is I came here, but I used a, a, bigger, uh, a bigger hoop and I fill up my hoop. And I said, okay, one more. So this one in the center. And I enlarge it maximum. You'll see my sample. Bigger, okay. And a little bit below. Position good. Okay. And I, could, I can do my embroidery. So look what I prepare. Because this month, like I said, it is, um, it is the month for, for uh, Valentine, but also to give a present to people. And I guess, not I guess, this is a nice present, easy to make. You know, if you give something plain, it's fast. If you give something with a different technique, well, it takes more time. So this is the heart I did. So look closer. It's like calligraphy. You see the way the twin needles sewed? It's like calligraphy. You know those uh, pen or uh, pen or hmm, pencil? I'm not sure. So you see this is exactly what I just did on the screen. So this is an envelope to give for lingerie or whatever you want to put in that. Eh? So this is the envelope. So what I did first, I took the swirl, the design, and I embroidered it with fabric and batting. The measurement is a rectangle, the width you want and the length you want. Okay. So I embroid the swirl and the hearts on fabric and cotton. No pattern. But I went to Pinterest. Oh, you have free pattern. They are straight. They are like a V. They are a round. They are a hexagon. Oh, it, you know, there's no limit to, to see. So this is really two, two fabric and one batting in, middle, in the middle. I hope you can see it's uh, spongy, yeah? 
So what I did, I did my embroidery on the rectangle. I use a GR hoop, okay? When I finish the embroidery, right sides together, I put my lining. I could sew all the way around, leaving a little opening here. I could do this, but I taught you a while ago how to make scallop edge with the scallop stitch from your machine. So I said, oh, let's, let's do it. It's the perfect time, you know, just to achieve something a little uh, more with more uh, technique to learn, first of all, and also to offer it's nicer. So I did the scallop edge and under the, the rest of the rectangle, I, I did a straight stitch and I left a little opening to be able to turn everything. I cut on the wrong side of the fabric. I cut all around my scallop and I clip for sure without clipping the fabric because I didn't want to have a, a bad... Uh, I didn't want to have a bad um, stitch here, okay? And then I turned everything around. I iron everything. I had my little opening that I iron because it was sewn up to here, okay? And then I said, oh, I just showed them the blind hem. Uh, uh, not the blind hem, the... the uh, oh, gee, I'll let go um shell tuck so you see here shell tuck it's not well you don't see it very well it doesn't it's not round very well why well you have a, a lot of thicknesses now huh but it's still you can see a little something look at this it's cute so what i did i did the shell tuck first at the end and then I fold, I, the, I fold it, I decided, I said, oh, I want the flap like this. I fold it and I did the shell tuck on the two sides and it's done. So people sometimes ask me if I can give designs. This one is from uh, Trevor Conkergood. Uh, uh, he digitized this for his um, embroidery spectacular. I cannot, uh, I have to respect the copyright. I cannot uh, give his design. Of course, I will never uh, do this to, uh, to a friend. Huh? Instead, he had flowers here. I removed them with the software and I put art from, little heart from our uh, embroidery machine. And here to make sure that it'll stay together, it'll stay, you know, to tag them, I did a stitch from your sewing machine, a decorative stitch from your sewing machine. So maybe you're gonna see uh, Celine, um, the color uh, of your uh, stitches are not even. Now I use a variegated thread, tone on tone. This is why the color is changing while I'm sewing, okay? So this is a nice gift to give. You know, it's the gift, a month of gift and gift of love, so you have a nice one here. Then I said to myself, hmm, I can do this, I can do that then. So what I did here, I went on my iPad. On my iPad, I have uh, AccuSketch, which is, uh, AccuSketch is a free application from Genome. And I wrote with the Genome, um, Pencil, stylus, I should say. I wrote Janome Word. And I embroidered, and you know this is a straight stitch. So I embroidered it with twin needle 1.6, 3. So you see the difference in between? In between. Triple. Okay. And 4 millimeter. You know, th there's no limit what we can create. You just have to think about it and uh, sh 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 there's no limit, okay? So you saw sewing, you saw embroidery, you saw AccuSketch, you saw a nice little project 
which has uh, no pattern. Uh, you know, you decide the width. But if you want a pattern, there's a lot free over Pinterest. Now I'll show you a garment that um, I use Trevor's design. So this is a blouse. Hope with the light. Okay. So you see, the mannequin is not uh, that it's too loose. You know, the, the, the blouse is bigger than the mannequin. But look at my nice design. I can pull. I cannot go closer. Okay. So you see, here you see better because. I use very different color, you know, this is pale pink, but this is really dark pink and uh, lilac, I should say. One design, swirl again, twin needles. On the side here, a bigger one. If I do this. Hey, look at this with the twin needles and I like to add a little, little rhinestone you know that you heat with uh, a special tool to uh, insert so this is Trevor's design because he did flowers me I changed I change it here I put heart okay so twin needles again and on the collar he made a full collection so you see on the color here, if I turn this. So I, I did a small one on the color. Oh, if I pull the mannequin. And a different one on the other side. Okay. So you see, it's a variation. Another option. Then you're going and it's going good. You say, oh, ho, now let's go. I'm going to do something really to, oops. Look at this. Okay. So I'm coming, I'll, I'll come closer. So this is a butterfly. And there's a scene, you know, I didn't do the blouse, but the blouse you know, we have, when we buy clothes, buy them uh, plain and then personalize them, embellish them your way with what you want. So for sure, nobody will have a blouse like this one. Huh? So I did the butterfly. Okay. And because there's a seam, I, I, I was teaching to my students how to see how centered on the seam it is. It's perfect, you know. You need to print your design and to mark down your cross. So, butterfly and butterfly with, I don't know if you call this wings. I don't know, but uh, it's a mystic butterfly. It's with twin needles. If I do this. No, I cannot. Oh, maybe I can enlarge. No, you know what I'll do? I'll bring it. I'll bring her over. Look at this. So with twin needles. Okay. So, you know, there's no limit to your creativity or to the possibility of what you can do with your, uh, with your machine. And just twin needles, you know, it's <laughs> not very uh, complicated. Okay. So I hope I'll turn and I'll change the camera. Oh, I'm 34 minutes, so um, I will uh, come back on the screen. Metallic, okay? And this is red because metallic, it's for the thread. While when it's blue, it's because of the fabric. Twin needle blue for jeans. Twin needle four millimeter for stretch fabric and the same one blue for twin uh, twin needle stretch fabric 2.5 so you know what there's 12 on the market i'll try to come back here yes so there's 12 different packaging on the i use schmetz but of course there's other brand like uh, uh, organ or 
I don't know what else, but I know organ and schmetz. So, okay. So I hope you learn a few things. Okay. And uh, let me know. You know, I, you understand that I cannot, and I want to show you my nice machine. Okay. You know, I cannot answer. When I teach, I cannot answer your comment, but right after the live, I answer you one by one. If you have question, you ask me. And, and of course, I like to receive your, the picture of your project, what you, what you did with what I taught you. Okay. So again, I wish you a nice week, a week of discover and try the twin needles. All of them. There's 12. Bye-bye. Have a good week, everybody.